Okay, coolest place I've ever been. That's hard because there's so many, um, but I definitely have to say Eastern Europe. So I raced a World GP in Romania, which was just so cool. And I, we had no idea what to expect. And we got like this super crazy cheap flight from Italy to Romania. And we were like, oh my God, everyone's quite scary. Um, but then yeah, we met some amazing people and we stayed in some really cool places. And the actual riding was so cool too. It was just this black forest with you know, heaps of leaf cover and just flowing and the most random thing was there was, you'd be out in the middle of the bush and there'd be guys with big bunches of flowers yelling marry me as you rode past, so that was pretty weird about Romania. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd have to say Romania, Ro yeah, Romania, the six days in Slovakia was awesome. Um, and yeah, just travelling through Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe's definitely my favourite. Now that I've finished racing, I am inspired by all the kids that I coach. Uh, the, the fast ones coming through that are really enthusiastic and by all of the 40, 50 year old women that come along and it's something they've always wanted to do is learn to ride and that finally at a stage in their life where they say it's my time and I get to teach them to ride. That's the two big things that inspire me these days. Um, I have had more than my fair share of injuries unfortunately. Some people get through a career with, with minimal but that's not me. I've had plenty, so I'll, I'll do the list. So, broken back, top vertebrae, um, collarbone, which like sticks out real nice these days. Um, both my ankles at the same time, which was the worst one. I was in a wheelchair for three months. Both ankles individually, I had a knee reconstruction. Um, and actually one of the most painful was I had a hernia fixed. So I've got a little bit of chicken wire in there now. And a couple fingers. Yeah, that's, that's the list. Um, lots of concussions too, of course. <laughs> but the worst one definitely was, yeah, the two broken ankles. It is actually just that people don't move around on the bike enough. Unfortunately, me included, I didn't sort of realise and I wasn't told that specifically how much you, your body weight is the traction and you need to move forward, move back, move side to side. And so what I say to myself now when I ride is do a marathon, I need to do that 42 kilometres back and forwards on the seat. So yeah, when I have especially newbies come along, I call it their happy place and they just sit in that one spot and they don't really move out of it and teaching them to get comfortable moving around on the bike. I would have to just say keep it fun, especially because kids don't often want to listen to their parents when it comes to most things, but I find especially riding motorbikes. I know myself, you know, dad would tell me things and I probably didn't listen, didn't think that he knew what he was talking about. <laughs> so, and, and coaching, taking your kids along to events, getting some one-on-one -on -one with lots of different coaches because just like at school different kids will react differently to different teachers and it's the same deal with coaching so yeah my biggest thing is get some coaching and then just keep it fun no one remembers what kid won juniors so they have to have that experience and then the desire to continue on into seniors when it sort of really counts so yeah <laughs> Uh, when I was 16, I went up to my nan's for Christmas holidays. She lived in Harvey Bay and we would always take push bikes, you know, cruise around the streets. And I had one of those quick release um, front wheels. And so in the travels on the way up, the quick release had got undone and obviously I didn't realise. So I'm cruising around the streets with my little brother. It was the Christmas holidays between year 11 and 12. So my little brother's seven years younger than me, so he was still quite young. And I went, like bunny hopped off of a gutter and the front wheel just left the bike and I just face planted the bitch man. I sort of remember sitting up and looking over and my front wheel was two houses down, just rolling, and my tooth was in the middle of the road. And my other teeth around it were all broken in half and I had no skin all the way around my face. And my little brother was just like <laughs> So this random dude that saw it happen was like, can I help you? And he gave me a tea towel and chucked our push bikes in the back of his car and drove me back to my nan's. And I actually got my tooth and shoved it back into my, my gum, the dentist. So it's pretty obvious who asked this question. Um, so it was very cool when Taylor Jones was over here racing in Australia. She's Aussie, obviously. Um, so yeah, she come through the ranks and she was starting to podium and it was like Jess and I were Dyson for wins at the time. And I was really scared of her. And at the four day in WA, I crashed and had a massive black eye. And she actually could have beat me. Um, in the final moto, she only had to make like 20 seconds on me and she's a really good motocross rider, like really good rider. And she actually could have done it, but she, 
I think her chain derailed or something like that. Something happened, so she didn't end up feeding me. And uh, so I went over and I was like, oh, what happened, Taylor? Like, I actually thought that you'd hurt yourself. Um, and I'm glad you didn't. And she goes, shut up or I'll give you another black eye. She was joking, but I didn't know her well enough at the time. And I was so scared of her for ages. <laughs> but turns out she's really, really, really cool. And she's over in America just killing it. So it's been really cool watching her.